Simply called Cat, because I uh, couldn't think of what else. Um, basically, it's about cats. So, here you go. There's no structures at first, bit, so you forgive me, it was a bit rushed, so. Uh, here you go. The beast looked at me curiously as he sat on the rug. A grin eased across his face like he caught the biggest mouse. And, as if knowingly, he lifted the leg, let out a huge fart and scarped out of the house. All the joys of living with cats, such handsome and pretty little things, often leaving your prezzies lost with many legs, or some are missing their wings. We once had a cat called Polly. She was the most beautiful of creatures, slim, feminine, so very soft with dazzling, dazzlingly striking features. Oh, what fun, watching her knock down our toy towers as we children laugh. Sometimes skittish, frequently leery, but never would I call her daft. Then there was Sifa, the king of the pride. He lived with my auntie and un uh, uncle and aunt. An amazing cat, so fierce and strong, never giving them cause to run. Sadly, he died many years ago. He gave my heart strings a tug. The memories live on my mind of him stretched out on the rug. Oh. <laughs> Without wanting to ramble, I've told you about my joy and experience of cats. Apparently, they can reduce stress with lots of strokes and pats. The only problem with living with cats is that their food is tinned. Like us humans, it's not their fault that this gives them lots of wind. <laughs> uh, it's a bit... It's a bit 